It was in 1969. If you're from Columbia, maybe you remember this story. There were three boys that went up to Chickie's Rock, and they started a ghost story. It's headline news in the Columbia paper. They came back and said they saw a ghost in Chickie's Rock. This, everybody from Columbia was up there in 1969. I think it was August 69. The police got so tired of all the people in the traffic jam up there, they said there is no such thing as ghosts. Chickie's isn't haunted. And they kept people from going up there. But people swore they saw a ghost up there. When that was put in the newspaper in 1969, a woman wrote in, and she said it was in the 1940s when she worked at the local Wyatt Laboratory. She was only 17, 18 years old at the time, but they had a picnic up there. And at the picnic, her and a young man were asked to go get some water. They got in the car. At that time, he could drive to the top of Chickie's Rock. As they're coming down, she says, oh my God, what is that? And they both look over, and she said it was a strange tree creature. She said it was about 16 foot tall, had bloody bandages coming from its from its head, and it was just leaning against the tree. When they were that frightened, they went back to the people picnic, and we have to get out of here. There's something so horrible here. So they all left. When she got home to tell her parents, of course, her parents didn't believe her, and they were just, yeah, yeah, right. Why would you make up a story like that? And she wasn't making up a story. Some of her friends, some some male friends, they came over to the house. She told them what she had seen. So these brave guys are going over to Chickie's to see this thing, and they saw it. They said in the blink of an eye, it would be here. In the blink of an eye, it would be over there. The wind would pick up and everything like that. So, again, don't, I was up there looking for strange tree, tree creatures for years. I haven't seen any yet. 